see. Chart. That's a brand. Okay, let's look at her. Precision. That's a brand. Hmm. That's a brand. Hmm. That's a brand. Essence is a brand. right there you know those brands um, I guess it's screw buddies <laughs> it's probably a brand oh a black venture a figure essentials Storage bags, essentials. Okay. Uh, essentials have a lot of brands right here. Essentials. Okay. Home collection. I have to do my research. I wonder who owns all these brands. I wonder if it's a collective group, a group of of people. It's just regular people like like me and you. And all the stuff costs a dollar. So that means if you sell a hundred thousand items, you basically making a hundred thousand dollars. This is all in all fifty states. This is called Kennel. Kennel Club. Yeah, Kennel Club. Kennel Club is a brand, y'all. Somebody sewing? Seamstress? Man, whoever making these shits right here is rich as hell, because he's these things cost a dollar and they only last probably two days it's called e-circuit e-circuit earbuds then copper wire inside of it basic this is a basic simple setup plastic mold with a small speaker inside Oh, this is for this is just a little extra clip, y'all. As kids, America's original man. I bet you they done made a lot of damn money. 
How many of y'all's kids like airheads? Lord have mercy. How many airheads have been consumed? What was they, 50 cent? The airheads was 50 cent a piece, y'all. Ooh. Diabetes. Oh, Lord have mercy. As kids. That sign, blow pop, originated, uh, resonates. I mean, I mean, excuse me. Resonates with your spirit. Blow pop. A quarter piece. Man, they had to make a billion dollars. Blow pop got to be one of the richest ca candy markets in America. Not candy market, excuse me, y'all. It's still early. Matter of fact, Charms is the brand. But Blow Pop originates, I mean, Blow Pop resonates with your inner child. What was that, quarter piece? As a kid, we didn't consume so many damn Blow Pops. Shit. Oh my gosh, Blow Pop. Man, they got, they should give some money to some black universities or something, man. <laughs> or just some black organization, period, man. Cause Blow Pop, oh man. Kit Kat. Ooh. Lord have mercy. That just blow pop just do something to me. I can taste every single one of them. And I ain't had a blow pop in years. Tootsie, what's that do to your inner child right there? Pop rocks. <laughs> pop rocks. Mike, can we get some of this money, y'all? Can we can we get some of this money, Mike and Mike? Can we get can we get a bet? Can we get a uh, a kickback? Can every one of these candy brands give a black organization a hundred thousand dollars? A hundred thousand? Come on! Ooh wee! No. -uh. Clemente Jacks. Ooh, we hold jalapeno peppers. E circuit once again. Oh man, we talking about the light bulbs. Ooh, we didn't didn't blacks invent it? The light bulb. Okay, Colonel. Wow. I got a cold boy. I've been here at five in the morning. Okay. Yeah, I brought out the uh, Gatorade. You said it'd be five in the morning. Oh. Tomorrow we'll, we'll do like we normally do with his paper. So we all know these brands right here. Kids, that's a brand. Okay. Oh, we all know about these brands right here. Hmm. Vitamins. People's choice. Hmm. I wonder if they even real. <laughs> Brands, everything for a dollar. For a dollar. Very quick. So y'all need to do the research and see who owns these companies. That's the fun part about it. Once you really get into of searching and doing your research and finding out who's the sole owner of these businesses. He, of course he's rich, he's a millionaire. I could be a group of about 10 people who put their money together and just molding, 
pressing the items like plastic molds and and it might not be a big company. It might just be a small warehouse. Look at this. Baby King. I right, mean, get rich. Get a, some, some uh, what you call it, uh, spoon molds. Very simple. Angel of Mine. That's the brand. That is the brand. Probably one person making the spoons. Hmm. Bath and shower. Bath and shower. Hmm. Of course, we all know these brands. Most definitely know these brands. <laughs> but they ain't Lil Debbie though. They ain't Lil Debbie. <laughs> sure fresh. Mm-hmm. Reynolds. Reynolds wrap. Good sense. Hmm. Juncture. Who owns Juncture? Somebody do the research on that. Juncture. What are you saying? Lusty Oil. Lusty is the brand. Somebody owns it. Most definitely. Sleek. Okay, I'm gonna put down like four. Hair bonnets. Come on, simple, simple setup. Mm. Combs made by Sleek. Simple setup. Old Orchard brands. <laughs> Scrunchy Chow. I think it's a brand, but I don't know, it could be. Home collection. Hell of a brand. That's a hell of a brand. What a brand that is. Got brand for days. Wow, somebody making their own stuff. Somebody really need to check this out. Fruit Tessa. Now it looks like somebody making this out of their garage, probably. Something simple. Who makes this high five? Made by Myra. Myra. Wow, but the, the labels look kind of cheap. Somebody doing this at their garage, y'all. 
They got a chance. Some they, somebody gave them a chance. At Dollar General. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm through with this my episode of brand, so I do it about once a year just to keep people informed, which I already know about the brands. It's just sometimes you need it needs to be reinforced because can't one person own all these brands. Generational wealth. You guys have a blessed day. Salute. Louisville Dirt Bowl. Go turn out. Louisville Dirt Bowl. Damn, I missed the whole game, man. I got here late. It's over, though. You know what I'm saying?